today I would like to explain about how to call images to the test stand report in last video please refer the last video if you would like to know about how to call uh, images to the test stand pop-up if you are just like opening images in the pop-up if you want to that you can just refer that one but this is just like you can see in this report that you can uh, this is one of the test stand report and how to do that test stand report um, along with some images so that's a simple code which we are um, dealing today at the same time uh, we would like I would like to show that how to call or how to create the front panel for this sequence editor uh, in the ways so here maybe I just like uh, instead of starting from the um, very beginning I'm just like uh, showing the one of the code which I developed so here what we can do that this is the actions and uh, in this action we can just like see the uh, pass or failure test so that's uh, maybe you can um, test and pass or fail test or how to create the action is just um, pop up then you will uh, get the action straight away and uh, for example if you just click here and uh, insert the action then if you just go to the pass or fail okay then it will be uh, turned like this. Then you can just um, uh, accommodate some post expression for this pass and fail. That's the one I developed. And um, here, what are the changes we have to do that in the steps I introduce a variable or we already have the variable report text. And also uh, in the images results, so I just like going to change this um, variable name, for example, like, um, my image number one and my image number two and even i can uh, introduce one more it's like i simply introducing the string over here image number three so then what i have to do that i have to save this one in a particular location so i'm just like trying to open the locations uh, where i save this file so this is the location which I save this file and um, just a matter of um, uh, take this um, file name so usually I just uh, do it in a jpg form and uh, paste it here so I already paste this most of the images I taken from the google search so and some of them I create a lab test that's our youtube channel and um, image one image two and image three so here what i can do that click over here and go to the expressions and here you can see that um, maybe i try to uh, enlarge this list bit, zoom it up zoom it in to get a better, better understanding so this is the file and uh, the step results and uh, the report we can see over results and a report text and is an empty string to call and image src and the local image path so that's we can uh, create like a local image so just a matter of image one we are using right now and please check the image here you have degree of freedom that if, for example if the image is not displaying at this moment what are you gonna do so please check your image or um, check image or any pop-up you can just like add over here so that's the basically we are doing and what i'm going to do that i just say this one and um, copy and paste one more time and i just copy this expression just a matter of this type expression and if you have anything please, please comment it then we can uh, uh, chain that one so then or i will uh, instruct how to do that one so here we can uh, add image two and uh, I'm going to copy and paste one more time then here I will add image 3 image 1 2 and 3 so now just like copy three images uh, how to be display uh, back to back and uh, I'm going to run this one fine then okay 
which is um, with the OK and stop the file. Then you can see the images over displaying over there. So it's like you have multiple option here, viewer in a better understanding in uh, so you, here you can see that you can see the images and the second image is like a different image and this third one is the purposefully I did that uh, that that's not compatible into this one uh, to the test stand that file is not compatible then uh, we will get a pop-up like a check image that's the thing we mentioned in the expression that the check image so that's why if anywhere you can't see it then you can see that check image if you the format or anything is something different so that's pretty clear and right now I would like to uh, show one more thing that in the C drive quickly and uh, national instrument and uh, so if I open, so this is the location. I can't see uh, show that location quite a lot because my personal computer. So in here, this is one of the window which we can see uh, to to run the code. And uh, again, if you just like uh, go to the user interface and symbol and lab view, and um, yeah, this you can close. This is the wrong one for now. And here, so if you want a location and how to do that, this one just like a please message me, I will tell you more. But if you just open this one, and this is the way you can create the test stand friend VI for your small test setup. And also even if you go to the source code, Even the, if you just go to the source code, you can just like uh, add the images or anything and um, you can just like uh, make it pretty uh, very good form. So here what I'm going to do is that I'm just uh, select my file. So this is my sequence file. I just select that one. So then I just gonna basically run this one so now my file is going to run and even you can see uh, you have a option to break or restart or terminate so this is like a coming to some uh, handy form that we can use this one uh, a little bit more properly and here you can see the all the images are displayed here and the logout or exit or anything just like you can customize you are a uh, file uh, like this so um, this is the way if you really want to build any test and uh, universal program you can just like uh, add your logo and all those things and we can do it here and if you want more information just comment it again and um, give a hand